this place is nice i love it i don't want to leave i want to live here and i want to buy a house here and i just want to get my entire life here Thank you. Thank you. Freshen up and then we'll get you back here for a nice fulfilling lunch. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. We are at Nyungwe House in Nyungwe in Rwanda. So beautiful. After you. <laughs> Thank you. Crush your bread with butter and then we've got a cumin and carrot soup. Enjoy. Welcome to Nyungwe. How was your soup? Delicious. Now on the table we have uh, broccoli salad mm. on a bed of uh, pickled red cabbage, feta cheese, beetroot mayonnaise, uh, radish, coin, and some red tomato. <laughs> We're at Nyungwe House in the Nyungwe Forest and we're exploring, well we're not really exploring the forest, you know what I mean? We're going to take a walk, we're going to look around a little bit and then we're going to come back and eat and drink, which is what my favorite part is going to be. But Nyungwe Forest is in the south, southwest of Rwanda and people are always saying that it's one of the mess, uh, blah blah. It's like over a thousand uh, different species here, there's a bunch of monkeys, a bunch of snakes and different things like that, but we're going to have a good time. This work will normally be for talking about conservation, conservation efforts in the park, conservation threats uh, for the park, and uh, conservation strategies about the park. Rift Valley uh, is one of the few places that have survived the last ice age more than 12,000 years ago. This forest was there. That's why you can find this kind of species. It's a tree fern. Our ancestors used to build houses with the stem because termites do not attack them easily. I'm sure like nothing comes out of the forest. Listen, now is not the time to discuss that. It's all fun and games when you got to the top of the hill and you're there and stuff until you have to realize that you gotta go back and it's far and the air up here is thin bro <laughs> hell away but look at the view i'm here for it are you saying jeffrey from fresh prince yeah <laughs> you want us to clean up your boots South Africa. Some fancy ice cubes. Then I put the mint. I get some cinnamon sticks, pepper cone, cloves, some cardamom sticks. This is so good. Kyle, is it good? <laughs> I've never had anything like that before. Ever, ever. It is so good. We have a resident group post from South Africa. Uh, we have a seven year group post from South Africa. We're about to start dinner. 
Me and my dinner date are here. Hey. <laughs> David, have you been enjoying the trip so far? It's so incredible. This place is absolutely beautiful. The food is five star. The experience is five star. The company is six star. It's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> we have the bread. We have the bread and it's a garlic tomato infused... With flesh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, don't mix the R and the L. It's fresh. Fresh. He's a, he's a vegetarian. So um, I'm, ve I'm vegetarian, so I'm very happy with this first... first option on the table and do you know what's even more special is that the plate itself is warm so warm which is keeping our first course warm so our next course <laughs> is something is, yellow and something red it's a this is justin this is the chef extraordinaire who's been making all of the food which here. is delicious i don't know if we should show yours because it's vegetarian here we have caesar salad an exotic salad from our house fresh lettuce picked from our garden with caesar dressing chicken croutons and then dressed with uh, dill oil and then his is just all of that without chicken <laughs> his is what is what without chicken cause he's a vegetarian <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef Justin. And for the vegetarian, we have sauce tomato. It's delicious, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I'm very happy that you are here. Yes, <laughs> because the food is so delicious. delicious. <laughs> this place is awesome. You get in. Backpack. Oh, that's pretty cool. Does everyone have this backpack? That's wow. I'm about to go to sleep. I think I'm. I'm really gonna try and wake up for this this boot camp tomorrow morning. It's at 6 a.m. I'll definitely take you guys along with me. Good night.